Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Pee Pee. Pee Pee. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Pee Pee. What is that? That's our new thing. We, we, we want fans of the Pee Pee to go up to each other and go Pee Pee. What I'm doing for the podcast listeners is I'm wiggling the little finger. Yeah, I don't know how you're doing that. I'm I don't have that fist. much dexterousness. So I've got quite good dexterous in my, le- my right, but left, I can't. I'm not left-handed. I can't. If anything, is better oh, for the left. Wow. You're a, you've been doing that a lot, I can tell, to uh, pee-pees. <laughs> you've, been pee-peeing, you've been showing your pee-pee out Tickling most pee-pees. <laughs> yeah, so um, what kind of guff news do we have? I noticed that your computer was broken, so I don't know if yeah. you've had time to prepare anything. Not a lot of preparation today. Has there been any, co- <clears throat> there's no overarching umbrella of a cohesive, like, a vein of, of stories running through this podcast? Um, Probably not. Do you remember Penis Man? I do. The guy who was writing Penis Man on bins, or woman. It was unknown. Someone yeah. wrote Penis Man on bins. Was it bins? Or signs? I think everything. Benches? Oh, on the side of a sheep? You're right. There penis was, man? It was appearing. It was Wait, like... was it a sheep or a cow? Okay. Uh, penis on side of cow. No, that's not it. No, do not Google that. No, no. <laughs> don't yeah, go don't down that, that rabbit hole. Look, we'll just, <laughs> just, we don't need to know about that. But anyway, he was... Um... Everyone remembers Penis Man, apart from us. Yes. Um, oh, was he arrested? <clears throat> and it was a man. Penis Man was arrested. Okay. Um, Dustin Shoma... This is bringing back memories. ...was okay. Penis Man. We're having to... This is, a, is this a PP update? There is an update. Okay. There is an update. Um, this is Penis Man. Yes, I recall his face. And he wrote Penis Man <laughs> <laughs> on, on one of those uh, grid signs. On like a little or something. <laughs> says Penis Man on like some sort of signage. This, these Penis Man. galleries have at least 10 pictures more of him writing Penis Man on things. Yeah. Um, and he says he's not the original. <laughs> there are hundreds of people like me out there. There are hundreds of penis mans. Men. It's bigger than him. No. Penis men. Mans. Penis mans. Yeah. Attorneys general. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Passers by. Penises man. Yeah. Penises There's man. There's thousands of penises man out <laughs> there. <laughs> well, doesn't, doesn't seem right. Just compromise on that right. one. Yeah. So he's saying that, you know, he's just one that got caught in the crossfire, you know? Yeah. He he had to take the fall for all the other penis men to be free. Is this... Is Sorry, this, penis is man to be free. Is this... Bec- do they all have different handwriting? They all have, like, distinctive tags? Like, is there a way... Have they got, like, a handwriting... A penis is man handwriting expert a on? graphologist. Ooh. Handwriting expert. Okay. A lot of it's horse shit, though. Not all of it, but a lot of it's horse shit. Right. Um, Go on. <clears throat> that's all I know. Okay. That's all I know. True, I was just, true crime. I was almost watching the Netflix documentary where, where you... I was just like... Lot of it's bullshit. It's fascinating. <laughs> it's a guy with a stuffed dog on his lap. Lot of it's bullshit. <laughs> Continue. No, that's all I know. I'm sorry. Uh, I can't speak more. <laughs> they know. It would give away the, the game. They're already after me. You, I am like bathed in shadow in this documentary. You have changed my voice. That's right. Yeah. So I won't be identified. Yeah, but well, no one will know who you are. Okay. You can speak up. That's good. You know, cause... I can use my real voice. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's my real voice. You gotta be careful if you, you know, someone might graffiti penis man on your fucking bin, or you know. I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like that at all. Do you know what? There is actually. There is actually someone that does graffiti on my street. I've seen it. I walked up and down the street on all their bins. Says so like 38, 47. Oh my God. 29, 9. What does it mean? I don't fucking know. I think it's like code. Right. I think it's like code. Someone's putting like code on these bins. Yeah, we could work. We should work it out. This is a mystery. We'll get to the bottom of this. There's loads of YouTube channels like looking into these types yeah, of yeah, mysteries. Yeah. I think it might be the Zodiac Killer. I'm not sure. <laughs> right. Yeah. 
Okay, no, that makes still sense. Still out there. He lives on my street. Not just my street, though. I've seen it in other streets as well. Mm. Not every day of the week, but some days I'll be walking around. Everyone's got their bins out for some reason, and they've all got numbers on. All the bins are on the side of the road. Yeah, they just leave them out right on the street. Where, you know, if you're in a wheelchair or pushing a kid in a pram, you've got to go around all these fucking bins. Yeah, you might topple into the road. Could be dangerous. Maybe it is a conspiracy. I'm just glad that he draws the line at bins and that he's not dragging like people's sofas out of their houses and putting them on the side of the road. But I did see there was one sofa out by the bins. <laughs> there wasn't a number on it. Not yet. There wasn't even a number on it. <laughs> did you check and I saw back? an old mattress as well. Oh, fuck. What does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> this penis man, right, he did write on Facebook, and this is quite ominous. Penis man is neither man nor woman, you nor me. We are all penis man. Right. I mean, in a way... I'm penis man. You're penis man. Daff is penis man. Alex behind the camera is penis man. The standee of Vin Diesel that has... Tom's angry Tom's face on <laughs> for some reason is also penis man. That bear behind us that sometimes I forget it's there and I turn around and I get a shock. <laughs> That's penis man. Hmm. Also, all of you listening or watching at home, you are penis man. Sorry to break the news to you like this, but you're penis man. You should man. have realised where this was going though. So do you have an obligation now to write? We've got to turn ourselves in. Oh, right, okay. Every single person. Oh, I see. Not yeah. not graffiti penis man. We just got to turn ourselves in. For being penis man. We could claim Daft's hat back while we do it. Take me away! I'm penis man! <laughs> we've, got another, we've got another nutter here, mate. <laughs> I'm not a nutter. I'm a penis man! There are thousands of us. Millions even. You can't lock us all up. Go on, lock me up. Lock me up for being penis, man. <laughs> People always ask us. <laughs> People always ask us. What are your names? What are your names? Where do you come from? Where do you come from? We are penis, man. <laughs> we are penis, man. We come from everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> It's an old song, Scouts and it, stuff. We come it. from everywhere. Did you sing that in the, the Cadets or whatever? Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew where you were going. We are, <laughs> we come from everywhere. That's such a powerful, like, Penis little... man comes mm. from everywhere. He does. And mm. inside of all of us is a penis man. Mm. Deep inside of us. Just, just waiting to... Pulse deep inside <laughs> of us burst. is a penis man. Just waiting to, yeah. to just bust waiting out. Just waiting to explode. Mm. What am I looking at here? So there's uh, a website for a, a pizza place in Wales called Welsh Italian Pizza. WelshItalianPizza.co.uk. Now the problem with this is that when it's written out, it looks like it's well shit alien pizza. <laughs> yeah. So it's really obvious. It's weirdly when you. W this is the thing that happens when you combine words together into a URL or a cool hashtag. Mm. Obviously like Penn Island yeah. is a classic. Uh, Sue's Anal Bum Party. What the fuck is that? Susan Album Party. <laughs> it was Susan Album Party. Yeah. Hashtag Sue's a Sus Anal Bum Party. It was the That's I Dreamed so a Dream. That's so good. I lady. love this. We From the reality TV. I know who Susan, Susan Boyle. Boyle is. Yeah, yeah. she was uh, a legend back in two thousand. Because she was ugly, but she didn't sound it. Right. That was basically that was it, her wasn't thing. it. That was basically why she got famous. Because she looked ugly, but she don't sound ugly. It does seem like the kind of thing Weird. that people would overlook. Sus anal bum party. <laughs> to me, Sus. No, it's Sus. Sus anal bum party. Sus wasn't a thing back then. Well, it is now, though. It is now. Because so it's even worse. Among it's aged even wor poorlier. I mean, also, the well shit alien pizza is... Yeah. It's the first thing you see. Well shit alien pizza. I don't even see Welsh Italian. I see well shit alien pizza. Alien spelled wrong. Yeah, but... Well is missing an L. I love it. 
it's it's an interesting food innovation. I love their like, I just love their like Welsh red shirts. Mm. You know, they're really obviously into it. Mind you, at Domino's they also wear red. Oh, and I don't think they're Welsh. I think it's Italian. But it looks like quite a classy place. You know, they've got like nice little wooden chopping boards. They've got a little stand. It looks like it's got a little. The chopping boards is what they serve the pizza on. Yeah, they give you the boards with the pizza on. You don't want a plate. <clears throat> you want a nice wooden chopping board. Why don't you board. do that? Stable in Bristol, do that? Sure. You have a, a, a bit of wood with a pizza on, and you're like, ooh. Well shit Italian pizza. Well shit. So is are they going to rebrand? <clears throat> I think maybe they're enjoying going a little bit viral. Oh, <clears throat> okay. They're getting a lot of people in. It's quite it's quite innocent, right? Like the... um. It's just a funny... It's just It just, just tickles you. It's just a funny little tickle. It's like the um, the mega chippy, the bin, biz, binly, binly mega chicky, the chippy. Binly mega chippy, binly mega chippy. You don't have to. Binly mega chippy. It's got lots of nice chips. Yeah, it's just a large chip shop, I assume. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't think anyone does. Yeah. It's just a little funny, a little tickle. I think it's funny for about five minutes. I mean, I'm not... And then you move on with your yeah, life. Yeah, I move on. It gives yeah. me a little... Much like this podcast. You know, all it needs to do is make you go, hmm. Where's your... Where's the funny bone? Is it like the elbow or something? What is it? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> That's what this story is doing But if you. I got it like for an hour, I'd be like... What are you doing? That's stop weird. Stop tickling my thing. I've... Like me doing that like that, was, that was fine. That was nice. But if I was to do that throughout this the rest entire of this... video, it would be weird. I'd go mad. Yeah, and that's what this is. It's it's a joke that gives very briefly. Um, it's the chuckle. It's a ch it's a chuckle. <laughs> that's all. There's nothing more to it. <laughs> it's really skin deep. <laughs> maybe there's more to this story. Maybe there's more maybe there's <laughs> there more is, to it. Unless there's more su sus anal bomb parties situations, you know. They did have a spokesperson for Welsh Italian pizza. Right. They hadn't planned for the website blunder. They usually use colours or camel case. Camel case. Which is capital letter at the start of each word. Right, okay. So sense. it breaks up the words in the URL. So it doesn't s scan as, as... Welsh shit alien pizza. Yeah. No. <laughs> They said, it wasn't originally planned like this, as we do use camel case and colours to separate... Why well, even that's literally the same thing! I'm literally reading the same thing! That paragraph is the same as the last one. It's redundant. One. The same as what the last one. What do you expect when they're just it's in the metro? They're just filling up paragraphs with garbage. Oh, we get to see what people on social media made of it. Possibly the worst domain name URL I've seen. Unless anyone knows of a better one. <laughs> and then no one knew of a better one. Some shared images of aliens eating pizza to mock the blunder. That's good. People are funny, aren't they, on the internet? Hilarious. God, I love, I love looking at the internet. Can we go and to seeing the all those URL? funny people making their funny little comments. Now, what are you having, Lewis? What are you having? Oh, I like how it's a sheep as well in the logo with an Italian oh. flag sort of colouring on it. Banoff... Oh my god. I what? can't believe the first pizza is banoffee. <laughs> I'm god, I'm sneezing, sorry, I'm allergic. Le he's allergic to bananas. Look Can at that one. EpiPen? Look at the one below it. Custard crunchy or pizza. Crunchy custard pizza. It looks it doesn't even look like a pizza, it's crunchy all like shriveled custard up. Custard pizza. Crunchy custard oh, pizza. Oh no. It's my, gonna go viral now. My alarm bells are ringing. I think this might not have been an accident. They're meme lords. They've made these no, memes. No, you're always very cynical. <laughs> they did it on purpose. No. Or why would they be selling custard and crunchy pizzas if they weren't already fucking meme lords? Because it's a dessert lords? pizza. They do dessert pizzas. No one does dessert uh, pizzas. Loads of places do. Hundreds of places. Look at their other things on their menu. They're fucking weird. What they should do is that it should be divided up so you don't just see... Oh, God, look at it. Ugh, it looks awful. It looks like someone's taking a big diarrhea shit on a, it does on look a, a sort bit. of it looks well pizza shit. that's been like it it's looks not well even round. Shit. And it looks like it was made by aliens. It looks well shit. Chicken and chorizo? Pizza? Fine. Fine. 
Fine. Chicken tikka masala pizza. Not fine, but carry on. What else is there? Uh, custard and Oreo. Oh, that's even worse. What's the next one? That's even worse. What's that horrible looking Hawaiian? spiral? That one looks like Love maggots. Hawaiian. What is Love that? Hawaiian. Hot dog pizza. <laughs> Margarita. <laughs> It looks like maggots. It's a margarita pizza. And that looks Hot, like no pizza I've ever seen. Hot summer pizza. Oh my god. We need this year. This is the this is the summer of hot pizza. Of hot summer pizza. Hot summer pizza. Twenty twenty two. Marinara. One of the most boring pizzas you can get. But it looks like they put garlic on it at least. With the basil. See, this, this, is, this is bringing back my alarm bells because these look like fairly normal pizzas now. Veg Supreme. The there we go. End. That's for Lewis. It was just those dessert ones that set me off. Oh, it has got cheese on. Okay, sorry, you're going to have to have the marinara. It's the only vegan option. I'm still, I'm still sus, mm. you know, about whether this was just a stunt. But you know what? I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. They're just stupid. That's it. They're either they're either smart or they're stupid. I think they're probably gonna just lean over to the stupid idea. I think not because they're Welsh. Oh my God! Why would you even <laughs> say that? I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry if you're Welsh. Um, I'm so sorry for you if you're Welsh. <laughs> there we are. I did the apology. Well done. We'll now you covered we'll it. We'll be fine now. We got a little bit of uh, animal news. Earth. Earth. It's kind of animal news. Is there a jingle still? Alex will play it. You'll sort the jingle out, right? Remember the jingle? How's the jingle go? Can you do that? Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Animal news. I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised. I've just seen that other story on there. Sorry, I'm just getting my... my Delicious snack, out. snacks out. Um, you're getting distracted by the sidebar. You're not supposed yeah, to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. How, that's how they, they want you to We'll do, do that one next. We'll do that one next. We can't just We're start doing browsing the fucking We're doing sidebar. We've got some short stories, it feels like, today. But this, this is interesting. A man has spent $15,000 on a high-tech dog costume to fulfill his lifelong dream. That's, that's the headline. That's not a real dog. That's not a real dog. Fuck. A lassie. Actually, now I look at his face, it's like a little bit uncanny, isn't it? Uncanny valley, but with dog face. And also those feet. Well, they've got to be big, because that's where his hands go, Lewis. Right. I don't know if they're big, they just, they just don't look like they're very well attached to the rest of the dog. Now I'm seeing, looking at it closer, I'm more and more suspicious, like that nose looks wrong. But I don't know whether that's just the breed. Can you imagine, you, you go around, say, you know, Eurovision. Um, Am I? Ding dong! Hello? And Lewis is there and he's like, come in. And then I immediately, I look to your feet and I'm checking to see if you've oh. got shoes on. And then I take my shoes off without even prompting. Did you even notice that I did that? No, but I expected it. You're okay. well trained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, first thing I do is I check your feet out. Good shit. Is he wearing shoes in his own house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If not, off they come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know many places in England who wouldn't make you take your shoes off at the door. Yeah, I mean, I don't really mind too much. Yeah. But a lot of people do. A lot of people do. I suppose if you've got pets, it's more... Yeah, there's shit everywhere already, so he gives a shit. <laughs> Yeah. Also, you might want to wear shoes if you go in the kitchen because it's just filled with wood lice. Ooh. It's like a forest floor. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> you just harvest some berries. I don't know why there's so many wood lice. And I'm sat, I'm just stood in the middle of the kitchen. I'm eating a sandwich and bits of it are just falling out. I don't know why I've got all this problem with wood lice. <laughs> you are the king of the woodland realm. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry, is this. So, I go around to your house. I'm dressed as a dog. Right. No, 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 no. You're like, Arf! come in, Arf! Simon, come in. I've got snacks. Would you like some pop chips? They're my favourite snack. Mm hmm. Well remembered. And, um, <laughs> actually, snack jacks, apparently. <laughs> actually, snack jacks. You know and, the way to my heart. And I, I walk in, and, and, you, and you, you like gesture for me to sit down and say, Can I get you a drink? And I'm like, Oh, yes. 
And then I notice, I notice there's something moving at the corner of my eye. I turn my head and there's clearly something that isn't a dog, but looks like a dog crawling around on the floor. Right. And I'm like, I thought you were allergic to dogs. No, it's all right. This is just Jeff, my housemate. <laughs> Your housemate? Yeah, yeah, Jeff. Do you want to meet him? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then he, like, just jumps up on my lap and starts licking my face. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, Jeff. Whoa, Jeff. He's very friendly. <clears throat> yeah, he is. He is. Very clean. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope so. He's very excited to see you. His lipstick's out. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> uh, Look after my glasses. It's only a matter of time. Okay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So Th this is the this is what furries grand. should look like, as opposed to what they do look like, which is a sexy Cartoony. cartoon. Yeah. Animal. A sexy cartoon. If, anime. if furries were serious, they'd be more like this. Being a furry is not even necessarily a sex thing, right? No, sure. There's like a little thing on your, right on your, what is that? There it is. It's a woodlouse. <laughs> Come back here, friend. <laughs> and then I just like put it in my beard. <laughs> I'll feed you later. So first of all, this is in Japan. Secondly, uh, his nickname is Good Boy. So yeah, sure. not necessarily a sex thing. Not necessarily. No, not necessarily. The man just might honestly believe in his heart of hearts that he is a dog trapped in a man's body and wants to live out his life as a dog. Which is fine. Um, or Who's he hurting? Who's he hurting? Uh, his no wife one. that left him. <laughs> um, with the kids. No, no, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, there is a clip on the YouTubes that has 600,000 views. I assume it's this video here. Oh, God. Do we want to watch oh, it? Oh, this is going to scare the shit well, out of me, Well, the thing is, it's, it's fine in stationary pictures, but I'm a bit worried about it moving and stuff. So let's just see. Oh, my... F oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's kind of cute, isn't it? Oh, wait, dog's legs don't move like that. I think it's, like, back that far. Okay. He's very Japanese, like very well behaved, you know? <laughs> like very like, you know? He's very Japanese. He's not like, um, he's well trained, you know? Okay, I'm getting a little bit scared again. It's kind of quite robotic, isn't it? It looks like it's, it oh, looks more God. like a robot dog than a human in there in a way. Do you know what I mean? The ambivalence is driving me insane. <sighs> what, you think it's weird? You think it's super weird? It's more that it's, it's almost cute, but it's, it's scary as well. And that's confusing my... I didn't like it when his mouth opened then. I didn't like that. It's like a very advanced <sighs> robot. It's close. It's like really, it's deep in that uncurly valley though, isn't it? Like, of like... It's not quite right. I made it a collie. This is this is Tokosan. I made it a collie because it looks real when I put it on. I don't think, like you said, I think don't think it's a sex thing. I think people can make these things for perfectly normal reasons, right? Like to blend in to habitats. Like, you know, in a zoo, you have like a big hippo suit that people get in and they go into the hippo enclosure what, and they film play them. Play with the hippos? No, they like film them or whatever and check they're okay. Like, oh, not upset right. I, oh, right. I see what you mean. You know, or yeah. pandas. If they have to go in and feed <clears throat> the baby pandas, they dress up in a big panda costume. So they think they? it's their mum. Yeah. Which is all fine. The hand puppets to feed birds. Yeah, I like that. that. That's cute. Yeah. So I think there can be a lot of innocent reasons for this. And this guy, he wants to mislead the human figure. Um, what? Yeah, look. <laughs> no, 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 no. He said he chose Collie because it has long hair, so it sort of, like, masks the fact that it's the human body. Oh, I see. That's but why it looks more like a dog. That's why it's got that weird neck. 
Because his head's clearly in the neck. Yeah, well, because they've got quite a sort of beard, sort of chest yes. hair coming out. Clever. A floof. So his his goal is to disguise himself as a, be as convincing as possible yeah. of a dog. Took 40 days to make the outfit, multiple revisions. I guess they had to keep bringing him in, seeing, you know, if it fit properly, and then looking to see Was it see made it for looks... him? Yeah. He didn't make it? It was made for him by a company called Zeppet that makes... These costumes, usually for TV commercials and films. Wow. So he's like a cosplayer. Man, so this is like old school. This is like, you know, in Alien, they use like practical um, effects. They did try making a, you know, an alien costume for the dog and having it run around. There was a dog in a, an alien xenomorph costume, but it didn't look right. So he didn't use it in the end. Right. Oh, I see. So, for example, if it was if it, if it was too expensive to hire an actual actor to get into the costume, you could because just it get... grows over time. The, dog. the alien. No, the alien. So it starts <laughs> off the baby the one for? coming out of John Hurt, right? And then it grows into the big one. So they tried having a dog in an like alien, like a juvenile suit. version oh, of I'm... it, running around. I'm excited. I don't know if that's very. You do see people dressing up their pets. They did look after the dog very well. Yeah. But it didn't work out. It was just too weird. It just it? looked really fucking weird. <laughs> it was clearly just a dog running back and forth in a costume. Well, dogs aren't very good actors. No. You know, whereas that guy, he was... Conv- it, what, it's just a mad... Everything's mad. It's men dressing as dogs, <laughs> dogs dressing as aliens, aliens dressing as men. That makes sense. I don't know what to believe anymore. Making oh pizza. God. Fucking penis men writing on things. Crop circles. Who did it? Was it a dog? Was it an alien? Was it a penis man? We're never gonna know. Another video, Lewis. I will play table tennis today. Hi. It's like Toff Chan, right? Oh. He's got a little table tennis bat in his mouth. He's so well, he's so well disciplined. Oh, okay. He's it's tied. They tied the tied bat a to table tennis. That's cruel. A bat to his That's arm. That cruel. is cruel. Who's filming this? Who? Who is he? Vo- oh. Oh. He's Do- learning. So. Oh. Oh. That's cheating. This is not. This is this not. This dog is amazing. Look how good it is. This isn't table tennis, though. It's playing table tennis. When Lewis. was the last? Look. Oh my god! Look at that. Having like five bounces. Having a table tennis bat tied to your arm and then vaguely bouncing it is not playing table tennis. Look how good he is. <laughs> Look how good he is. Nine times. He bounced it nine times on his bat. That's true. He'll be at the Olympics. I bet you can no do time. that, and you're not no. even a dog. You're right. I can't. How many people do you reckon he can fool? Do you know what I mean? Like, if you took him out for walkies... I don't like it. Now I don't like it again. Now I don't (laughs) like it again. What are we doing now? So what, you found another article in the the flipping sidebar? Of a a quality journalism website, the New York Post, that everyone loves. Um, It's only a matter of time before... The worlds collide of makeup and cheese. Yes. That's right. Uh, the, yeah. The crossover that we were all desperate for. Um, so Velveeta is, is a weird thing. It's an American thing, isn't it? Does it come out of the spray thing or a tube? Is it the tube cheese, the liquid cheese? It's a processed cheese product, similar to American cheese. So it's not real cheese. It's not even American cheese. It's not even real cheese. There was a, there was a cartoon in a, a Viz annual, an old Viz annual, about a monk who invented processed cheese. Okay. And the reasoning behind it was that he would make picnics for local orphans. Right. And, <sighs> and the kids would eat all the sandwiches. Okay. Very quickly. Yep. Keep going. <laughs> Just get comfortable. Yeah, yeah, get comfortable. I knew Sell this in. was going to be a long one. Sell in. 
So the idea was that um, a lot of the, the poorer, orphans. weaker orphans... They want, they need cheese. They, they couldn't get sandwiches because all the sandwiches would be scoffed by the healthy, fit, stronger orphans, I guess. So he made a product that was disgusting that the kids wouldn't want to eat. So there would always be leftover sandwiches. The, 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 what, the big orphans who were king of the, the top of the food chain. Yeah, they would see that there was this processed cheese they sandwich. They were like, yuck, be like, we'll, have, we'll yeah. have the nice sandwiches mm. instead of the disgusting ones. Yeah. It was made out of goat milk, and the goats had been eating rubber trees because they got loose. Wrong. Right. So, so it was that's why it was rubbery. rubbery. Yeah. And so <laughs> some people... Rubbery. Yeah. So some some of the authors... I don't think that's the actual process of making processed cheese. What, feeding goats rubber? Yeah, I don't think... They strip the bark off of a rubber tree, and then you milk them. Regardless. And then it's this weird yellow colour. It's fine. I get, but why didn't they just give just give them any horrible food then? That the or the fat or big, big fat cheese. authors wouldn't eat. He made cheese. You could have just given like any old yeah, but he's cheese horrible maker. food like marmite. Or, yeah, oh, but I that's see. not cheese though, is it? I see. He was a cheese maker. Yeah, it had to be cheese. He had limited ways in which he yeah. could. So he made the most cheese. disgusting cheese, inedible cheese he could think yeah. of that was still nourishing. Which is American cheese. How can I make cheese, cheese the worst it could possibly yeah. ever be? But it was an accident. But it was still God. remained cheese. It was God showing because he was a monk. Right. So he said, dear God, dear, not a problem. Yeah. Orphans, the little orphans that aren't the tough ones, yeah. aren't getting their sandwiches. They're starving to death. Because, and I, I want to help. Yeah. But and how then, do I And then help? it looked like God didn't do anything. But then it turned out that God somehow made the goats jump over the fences and eat rubber tree bark. Right. He right. works in mysterious ways, Lewis. He does, and sometimes you don't even His know. His wonders to behold. And indeed, you know, sometimes a long time afterwards, you know. Just checking on it, wearing a satanic shirt. Not really. Okay, that's fine. There's a pentagram there. Oh, there is a pentagram. <laughs> okay. Well, well, uh, yeah, well, it's fine. There's usually one. There's usually one. <laughs> I found out today the upside down cross. The what? The upside down cross. The upside down cross. Why did he say upside down in such a peculiar way? I didn't. It's upside down. Yep. You said upside down. What? You got it though. You should have understood. No, I didn't get it. I had to have you repeat it twice. Well, keep up. Is all I'm okay. saying. Listen. If I'm sorry, I'm just having another snack. <laughs> <laughs> it's it was the St Peter's cross, right? It was St Peter's cross. He was he was hanged upside down. Yeah. Crucified upside down. But he was still like a a lad or whatever. He wasn't like a satanist a lad. or anything. He was one of the lads. Jesus' lads. Disciple? Yeah, whatever. Apostle? Or I don't know something. if you know he was one of them, but he was definitely all right. Disciple. He was on side. Right. He wasn't no just Satan worshipping. Why did they Why did they whatever. do him upside down then? Don't know. I didn't read that much into it, but I knew it wasn't... Was he Australian? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I like that. Well, bloody jeez, Louise. <laughs> oh, I'm bloody Peter, already. I hope I don't get fucking crucified. <laughs> that would bloody suck. <laughs> oh, crikey. They brought out a fucking wooden cross. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened to him. Yeah. Uh, did you know, like, it's not really a Satanist symbol, though, but it seems like it should be one, right? Well, the upside down cross. Yeah. I guess it can be. Anything can be. But it's sort of ignorant, you want. though, isn't it? It's like the 666. It's not that. It was actually like 616, wasn't it? And yeah. all this. It was all, it's all wrong. It's translation. It's all like, everyone's all built everything up on mm. like mis misunderstandings and corruption over the years and stuff. It's interesting, mm. you know, because people read a lot into this stuff. It turns out, if you're starting with bad information. What if there was a recipe in the Bible of how to make cheese? And over the years, due to translation errors, the original text was corrupted so much that an American once read the Bible recipe on how to make cheese, made it, and that's how processed cheese was invented. Oh my God, and that's what those tablets were made of. What? They weren't gold, they were cheese. Gold? Yeah. Are you, are you referring to the stone tablets that Moses brought down. No, I'm referring to the golden plate that Adam Smith, J Joseph that's Smith That's Mormonism. Found. Yeah, American that's cheese. That's not real. That's not real. American cheese. Look, Mormonism isn't real. The Bible is real. What? It was written by Jesus. None of it's real. <laughs> 
well, I mean, it's real, as in it's a physical thing that is in our universe, mm. and it, you can read it. That's real, right? The dog. This is a real thing. Let's not get metaphysical about this. <laughs> <laughs> Cinepart un pip. Yeah, yeah. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What's dog in, in French? Chat. Oh, no, that's cat. No, chan. Chan. Chien. C-H-I-E-N. Chan. Chan. Yeah. Ce n'est pas un chien. Oui. Il est un, un bon garçon. <laughs> un très bon garçon. Oh, taf. <laughs> What was that? It's a good boy. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I what did you think I was saying? I don't know. Did it sound weird? It sounded a bit weird. You got <laughs> into it. <laughs> well, you have to... He wants to... He wants to he now, I'm about, oh, 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 oh. now I'm worried about what you get up to in your private time. Well, you Dressed know. Dressed over in a striped shirt, ring of onions around your neck That's and a Jeff. beret. That's Jeff in the dog costume, oh. not me. No, no. You dress as a Frenchman. Jeff dresses as a lassie. He loves the garlic and onions. It's not a sex thing. No. It's not. It's just a, a hobby, yeah. pastime. Something to just and, you know, while away the weekend. Sometimes you put a collar and a lead round and you walk him around. Yeah. You know, and you're dressed all in leather because it's very cold during the nights. It is. You know, and sometimes mm. he'll get up and he'll write penis man mm. on bins as we go by. I do worry why the leather um, trousers you're wearing are assless. Well, they're the only ones I could get on Amazon. Right, okay. You know, it's weird. You used yeah. to be able to get... That's so... Ass, ass full, I guess they yeah, would Yeah, ass full chaps. Mm. Or, or But now it's just every one you buy. There's yeah. some bit of it cut out for God knows why. Yeah. Ease of, um, I don't know. Poop, I guess. Maybe to air out. Oh, it might be. The areas. It's from all that cheese. So that was a story about cheese flavoured nail varnish. We didn't even talk about it. Which you can buy. We literally didn't talk about it. It's another stupid all. marketing we stuff. We did not for one second actually wanna, talk about it. Do you, it. you want your nails to smell of cheese? Well, now you can have that temporarily. There's probably only a hundred of them on sale because it's a whole, just a marketing stunt. Like all the stuff we talk about. Lewis, I think you're being very cynical yet again. <laughs> yes again. <laughs> all right, we'll be back with something else next time. Something that hopefully is a bit more of a palatable portion. What? I'm just playing with his tail. Who do that? Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> He's displaying, Lewis. All right, bye. Bye. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. It's not oh, a real dog, so weird. Lewis. It's not a real dog. <laughs> It's actually a man inside. <laughs> it's Warwick Davis from the new Willow TV series, only on Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs>